OpenAI has just fired some of their top researchers, specifically from their safety department. What's interesting here is I believe what we have is shaping up a battle between the effect effective altruists and the effective accelerationists. I'm going to be talking about all of that. But another interesting fact here is that these were kind of allies of Ilya Suskover, who kind of had the whole situation kicking Sam Altman out um, from OpenAI before he came back. And now Ilya is kind of MIA. So we're going to be talking about all of this on the podcast today. Let's get into it. So a lot of this was recently broken by The Information, who, if I haven't already said it a hundred times, is a really great source for tech news. So highly recommend um, checking them out if you haven't already subscribed to them. In any case, they were talking a little bit about this whole firing, and they outlined the two specific people that have been fired. So we have Leopold Ashenbrenner and also Pavel Ismailov. So Leopold is an interesting character. He really, he's got a, a background. He comes went to Columbia University. Um, but his background really is that he um, he's worked at a number of interesting places. One of them that a lot of people have talked about is Future Fund. So Future Fund was actually an effective um, altruist kind of fund that was set up by Sam Altman or sorry, not Sam Altman, Sam, Sam Bankman Freed, who is, of course, the kind of disgraced FTX co-founder who um, mingled customer funds with his hedge fund, and then the whole thing collapsed, and now he's in prison. So he was over there at Future Fund for a while. He then went and uh, had a couple of other places, and most recent, and then recently before OpenAI was working as a research affiliate um, for Global Priorities Institute, which is at Oxford University. So he has some interesting um, connections. Uh, he's got a bunch of interesting connections to kind of the whole, there, there's kind of these two clubs, in my opinion, these two clans shaping up in tech right now. You have the effective altruists and the effective accelerationists. If you've been on Twitter or X, you'll see that people put this like E slash um, ACC in their bio. That stands for uh, effective accelerationists. And I'll go over the two differences. So if you look on Google for effective altruist, um, it's going to say effective altruist is a 21st whatever. It's a philosophy that uses evidence and reasoning to help others as much as possible. It's not defined by any particular solution, but rather by a way of thinking. Okay, this is where it's been criticized, but it says effective altruists try to identify big, traceable, and unfairly neglected issues and then find unusually good ways to help. Okay. It sounds like good, but it's not super specific. But I think the the thing that's um, important here, because really these two researchers were fired for leaks, right? So they made a bunch of leaks specifically when Sam Altman was kicked out about a, around um, Q Star, which is kind of this like ability for uh, Chat GPT or probably GPT five to be really good at doing math, which is something that it's really kind of struggled at. So um, what's interesting here is, of course, you had Sam Altman getting kicked out. Then you had Ilya was kind of on the chopping block because people are looking at Ilya like, why did he kick him out? And even to this day, you know, what did Ilya see is like always trending on X. Um, but then these are kind of two of his allies. They make this leak saying, look, OpenAI might be onto something really big. I think they're trying to give him some cover to say, look, he probably had a good reason for kicking him out. And then, of course, um, Sam Altman comes back, Ilya gets canned, and eventually these two guys get found out and, uh, you know, for, for leaking. And this isn't super great for them. What's interesting here um, is that throughout this whole thing, I mean, I think a really big incentive, I'm sure Sam is awesome, whatever, but uh, a big incentive for everyone wanting Sam back is the fact that the startup was about to do a private sale worth $86 billion of employee stock. So employees were about to cash out big time on their um, employee stock at OpenAI. Then Sam Altman gets kicked out and everyone's saying, okay, well, it's not worth $86 billion without Sam Altman. So everyone says, we all want Sam Altman back. And I, I've heard from internal people at the company that there was like a really high pressure campaign where all the staff was like calling all the other staff and saying, you have to sign this letter endorsing Sam. Like every, it was this big thing. And I mean, you know, $86 billion valuation was at stake. So I wonder at what level that was necessarily how much they fervently loved like Sam or how much, it, you know, was that they wanted that um, employee stock option sale. Like I wonder if Sam... If you, they were only getting the money if Sam was gone, if they would have done that, right? So in any case, very interesting. Both um, Ashenbrenner uh, and um, 
Pavamel were, were fans of Ilya, and Ashwin Brenner was on the super alignment team. So really kind of focusing on making sure that the AI uh, or any sort of super intelligence, if they achieved AGI, that it was steerable, that they could you know, solve nuclear fusion problems or colonize other planets, all that kind of stuff. What's really interesting here um, is that Ashwin Brenner, who effective, uh, they say he has ties to effective altruism, um, and this is what's interesting about effective altruism, specifically in relation to all of this. Apparently, it prioritizes addressing the dangers of AI over short-term profit or productivity benefits. So what a lot of people say is this is a deceler decelerationist, meaning like it's prioritizing uh, safety, addressing the dangers, over short-term profit or productivity, which really means productivity means like the advancement. So it really does kind of feel like we have this whole fight here over um, people that are trying to maybe slow down AI for the sake of being safe and people that want to just accelerate. So I want to talk a little bit about what e uh, effective accelerationism is uh, because I think it's kind of a, we have kind of a battle between these two uh, factions inside of OpenAI. So if you Google it, it's going to say effective accelerationism, um, often abbreviated as EACC, is a 21st century philosophy movement that advances an explicitly pro-technology stance if proponents believe that unrestricted technology progresses uh, technological progress is a solution to universal human problems like poverty war and climate change so pretty much like all of our problems can be solved if we just accelerate uh, technology with you know as fast as we can go there's a lot of like famous um twitter accounts a lot of people are using their alt accounts a famous one of course is beth jesus um this was a big famous or this was kind of like a big uh, trending thing a while back because um it's it's actually like a guy i think he runs like an ai company he's like very uh quite renowned uh, he, he's, he's a big guy in his space whatever a big tech guy Anyways, he has this alt account called Beth Jezos, and he was recently doxxed by, I believe, a business insider reporter that, like, listened to him do a Twitter spaces, took his voice, and then, like, was able to, like, track back his voice to who he actually is and whatever, and then exposed him and, and his identity and stuff, which he didn't think was cool, but whatever. I think he's embraced it, and now everyone knows who he is. Any case, we find this a lot on X and Twitter. A lot of these a lot of these people are worried that, um, you know, they'll be criticized or worried about their jobs or their businesses or whatever. So they just have these kind of alt accounts where they're e-accelerationists. Now, what I've gathered is that Sam Altman is a bit of an e-accelerationist. Um, and so I, I like, he, I don't think he doesn't have that in his bio, but I think uh, he's very much pro just pushing forward technology as much as possible. And you can look at all the decisions that are happening from OpenAI. You're going to see that this is, uh, you know, pretty common trend. So what it feels like is we have that faction and then we have another faction where apparently um, a bunch of the board members who fired Sam Altman also kind of had ties to effective altruism. Tasha McCauley, um, for instance, um, she's a board member of Effective Ventures, which is a parent organization of the Center for Effective Altruism. Helen Toner previously worked at the Effective Altruism Focused um, open philanthropy project both left the board when Sam Altman came back as a CEO in late November so it very much feels like we had this battle um, where we kind of had these effective altruists aka people that wanted to slow down the tech for safety and then we have these accelerationists who want to just speed up the tech because they believe it's going to solve most of the world's problems including poverty and everything else and they're kind of fighting and so in my opinion I feel like this is a big part of why these two researchers were fired. Although, I mean, of course, leaking things internally at a company is a very common reason for getting fired. Um, so, you know, somewhere between Leopold and Pavel, both of them um, seem like very academic people. Pavel, you know, did a bunch of research inst uh, internships at Google and also at AWS and then has a PhD student from New York University. And then he's kind of a member of the technical staff at OpenAI until recently getting fired with Leopold. So it feels like we kind of have these academics um, who you you kind of find um, effective altruists in this academic or journalist uh, kind of camp. And then you have kind of um, a lot of developers. A lot of developers do fall into, I guess, both, but a lot are also in the e-accelerationist camp. So it's super interesting to see what's rolling out here. I'll keep you up to date as we see uh, if, you know, there's any other interesting things happening. But I think with this kind of move, it feels like um, OpenAI is, is moving to 
pretty much have their company culture focus really on the technology, maybe a little bit less on the safety. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this rolls out. And I know a lot of people that think that's bad, but I know a lot of people that think that's good. So I think there's both sides of this argument, and it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in the future, but definitely a very interesting